All right, you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at this house here. As we can see, we got brick on the exterior, uh, nice flower beds here, obviously a, a big yard as well. Um, so let's kind of make our way right in here. The inside of the property is a little bit dated, um, nothing crazy, but I think it was built in the early 2000s. Here would be our dining room, and if we make our way into the kitchen, this is our kitchen area. We got our countertops. Uh, we got our wood cabinetry, and then if this was a newer home, you'd probably see white uh, painted cabinets. Let me know down in the comment section, do you guys like white painted cabinets? And then right off of the kitchen, we have our laundry room, which is kind of a strange place for a laundry room. I don't usually see it right off of the kitchen, but washer, dryer, and if we look on the back side of here, we also have some more cabinet space, maybe some some a place that you can fold your laundry. So I like how big the washer and dryer room is here. Uh, it's just a little strange that it's right off of the kitchen. But if we make our way back into the kitchen, we have our pantry here, nice size pantry. This door leads us onto um, the back patio, also the overhang on the garage. Um, so we'll take a look at that here in just a second. And if we notice here in the middle of the floor, we have a nice little... I don't know, differentiator, insignia, some type of, um, you know, focal point, I guess, for the middle of the house. Um, so we got our fireplace here. We got some extra storage space here. You could obviously put a TV above the fireplace. And if we make our way over here, this is going to be where our guest bedrooms are. This is our first guest bedroom. Um, the, the closets are mirrored, which is um, interesting, to say the least. And if we make our way down here, we have our guest bathroom area let me crank on the lights so you guys can see it i'm always playing the light switch game we always have to play with all the light switches to see which one's the right one so this is the uh, guest bathroom we got some additional closet space here and then we have our other guest bedroom here also with the mirrored um, glass on the closets so if we make our way back into the living room let's go ahead and take a look at the master bedroom now we got a decent sized master bedroom here um efficient enough for all of the bedroom activities that we could be partaking in and if we make our way into here this is going to be our master bathroom area as you guys can see the house like i said a little dated uh it was built in the early 2000s but we have a big tub here this would be your restroom area right there and then we have our um master closet which is huge Awesome for all the clothes you could ever need to fit in here. Now, this is something very interesting about this house. We got our shower here, but if we make our way out of this door, this actually will take us into the backyard. So as you guys can see, we have a huge backyard. There's a gazebo, there's a pool, huge backyard, recently fenced. All this looks like new fencing, um, beautiful yard, great place for probably entertaining. And if we make our way this way, this was kind of that back patio area, uh, some lights here. Another good thing is we have gutters all the way around the house. Um, you could probably put some patio furniture back there if you wanted to. You could probably do some things back here. Another nice thing is this is gated as well. So if you wanted to, you know, do something in here, or you didn't want someone to have access to the pool area, you know, like dogs or babies, things like that. You could probably let them loose in here. Uh, but here is the garage area, two car garage, pretty standard. And if we make our way over here, I'll show you guys how much uh, space we have for the driveway and everything. But just a huge yard here. Um, absolutely wonderful. So this is our driveway space, huge driveway, as you guys can see. And that's pretty much the house. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like on the video if you did like it. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name is Justin, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.